Life can be approached in two ways, either by trying to force things to happen or by letting things unfold naturally. The first approach is all about struggle and control. Picture trying to push a boulder uphill. It's hard work and often doesn't get you very far. On the other hand, letting things happen naturally is like floating down a river, letting the current take you where it will. This is the spiritual way, where you trust the universe to bring you what you want without fighting against it. When you try to force things, you're missing out on the powerful unseen forces that could help you along. Have you ever chased after someone's affection, going against your own values to impress them? Chances are, it didn't work out too well. It's like when you're really good at something, like painting or playing the guitar, but then someone watches you, and you suddenly can't do it as well. Just like that, when you become too self-aware, your natural talent gets overshadowed by your conscious mind. Shakespeare said it best, all the world's a stage and all the men and women merely players. This is a perfect example of how being watched can turn your natural abilities into a performance, making you overly self-conscious. Harnessing Automatic Intelligence Think about how you breathe without thinking about it. If you had to control your breathing all day, you'd be exhausted from the effort. This is true for other things your body does automatically too. Scientists call this the subconscious mind. It's like a set of programmed responses that work on autopilot. In spiritual terms, it's an inner divine program, a connection that goes beyond our human limits. This inner programming operates continuously, managing vital functions such as our heartbeat, digestion, and cellular regeneration without our conscious effort. It's a testament to the incredible efficiency and intelligence of the body, a marvel of nature's design. Just as a seed knows how to grow into a tree, our body knows how to heal a wound, fight off infection, or adapt to different environments. This subconscious aspect of ourselves is always working tirelessly and silently to maintain and optimize our well-being. The subconscious mind is not only a caretaker of physical processes, it is also a reservoir of emotions, memories, and learned behaviors. It stores every experience, every lesson, and every emotion we've ever encountered. This vast collection of subconscious knowledge influences our reactions and decisions, often without us realizing it. It shapes our instincts, our intuition, and even our dreams, acting as a bridge between the conscious mind and the deeper, unseen realms of our psyche. While it can do anything, it's guided by our conscious mind. It's designed to do things our conscious mind can't, often called the deep mind, or a large part of our mental capacity. Its miraculous nature is still a mystery to science. If we could understand miracles, they wouldn't be miracles anymore. This ability is wrapped in mystery, but its power is undeniable. The more you trust your subconscious mind, the easier life gets. Positive beliefs like, money comes to me easily, I am loved and respected, I am safe and secure, can become your reality. Imagine if you tried to control everything in your life. You'd be constantly chasing love, sending out countless resumes, trying to make money, and trying to force opportunities to happen. It's like trying to bend the universe to your will, but you end up just wearing yourself out. Embracing effortless flow. The art of allowing is not about giving up on our dreams. It's about trusting that there's a flow to life that can guide us to our goals more effortlessly. It's about understanding that sometimes the best action is non-action. In doing so, we align ourselves with a greater wisdom and tap into a stream of opportunities that come our way without force or struggle. By trusting in the natural rhythm of life, we find that things often fall into place in ways we couldn't have planned better ourselves. Also, it's important to remember that letting go doesn't mean you stop caring or working towards your goals. It means you trust that you've done your part and now it's time to let the universe do its part. 
It's about finding the balance between making an effort and knowing when to step back. This balance is the key to a harmonious and fulfilling life, where we work with the natural order of things instead of against it. Embracing this approach can lead to a life full of wonder, ease, and profound satisfaction, where miracles don't seem so mysterious after all. The journey towards grasping the art of deliberate creation and understanding the ways of the world is quite an adventure. It's like what Albert Einstein pointed out, doing the same thing repeatedly and hoping for a change is pointless. So just try to hit the subscribe button this time. Thanks. It perfectly shows how useless and tiring it is to keep trying to control everything around you, only to end up struggling, especially in areas where you used to do well. When we stop relying on our inner wisdom, we lose touch with the powerful, unseen forces of the universe, or God, or whatever you want to call that infinite intelligence. No matter what name we give it, our everyday thinking doesn't really get the full picture of life. It makes choices based on what's happened before, so it's pretty much blind to new ideas that don't fit into what it thinks is normal. It's impossible to guess how solutions to problems will come about. Sometimes, the answer hasn't even been thought up yet. Shifting Perspectives Picture this. Someone's broke, and their brain is so overwhelmed that they can't think of any helpful ideas. It's like being stuck in a cage, and your mind makes you believe the cage is super strong. But actually, you could have easily gotten out. The main point is, when you're feeling down, problems can seem too big to handle. Trying hard to fix things might not work at all. But then, you might realize something big. If trying hard isn't helping, maybe the problem is with you, not the world around you. This insight can totally change how you see things, like taking off a blindfold. Suddenly, those big problems just melt away without much effort, and you see that the real solution was to change yourself, not everything else. It's crucial to trust your deeper mind. That's why you should always question how you think, which often hides what's really going on in the world. Reality is way bigger than we can imagine, and it's set up this way so the divine can experience all sorts of things through us. The advice is pretty straightforward. When you meet someone new or face a new situation, don't overthink it. Just let things happen, like you're on cruise control. Go with the flow, think less, and focus more on picking the experiences you want in life. Learning to flow with life's natural rhythms. Lao Tzu, a wise philosopher, once said that life is full of natural and spontaneous changes, and we should embrace them instead of resisting. This thought is a key to living a full and rich life. It's like saying, I am living a great life right now. Think this way, but don't get stuck on the details. Thinking too much can be a trap. Put logic aside for a bit, go after what you want, and trust your inner mind to make it happen. Trust takes time to build, so start small, like talking to new people. Let this inner guide help you find jobs, bring you small joys like free meals or gifts, and smooth out your everyday life. When you let your subconscious work with the universe, you might be amazed at what happens. Here's a story to illustrate this. There was someone who wanted freedom more than anything. A few years ago, this seemed impossible. Despite trying hard, they couldn't achieve it. But things changed when they started listening to their inner self. They let this inner wisdom guide their decisions, starting with small things. Slowly, they trusted it more and more. The person who once felt stuck and unsure about their future eventually found the freedom they had always wanted. It happened so naturally, in ways they couldn't have imagined before. Remember that every small step counts. As you grow in confidence with your inner voice, it can lead to significant changes. You'll start noticing opportunities that were always there but somehow overlooked. Life becomes an adventure where every day brings something new and exciting. 
Your journey might also inspire others. As they see the positive changes in your life, they might start exploring their own inner wisdom. Imagine a world where everyone is guided by their highest selves, creating a ripple effect of positivity and growth. In this process, you'll also learn the value of patience. Trusting your inner self doesn't mean instant results, but it's about enjoying the journey. Each moment becomes a lesson and every experience a stepping stone to a more fulfilled life. Lastly, as you embrace this way of living, remember to spread kindness and understanding. Just as you are on a journey of self-discovery, so are others. By supporting each other, we create a community where growth and self-realization are not just individual pursuits, but collective achievements. So, here's an invitation for you from the universe. Let your inner self lead the way. Start with small decisions, trust in your inner wisdom, and watch how life surprises you in the best ways. I encourage you to ponder over these concepts and share your thoughts down below.